I read Foolish Times. I read Foolish Times in the office. I read Foolish Times in Atlanta. I read Junior Jokes in Foolish Times with my mom. I read Foolish Times when I should be working. I read Foolish Times in Hablo Español. I read Foolish Times. Are you reading Foolish Times? Pick up a copy throughout Monterey County and select locations in Santa Cruz. Laugh it up. Well, I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> you have notes? I have notes. <laughs> um, well, That's not improv when you have notes. Well, you know, this is my mission statement, <laughs> okay. so I like to have it handy. Um, because that's really part of who I am, so I like to actually relate to it constantly. So you asked me, how do you teach improv? And the answer would be, I just try to bring out people, their creative resources. I try to push them physically and emotionally, and then we create fun exercises and scenes on the spot. And it's really fun. So, so who, who shows up for these? Oh my gosh, um, the people show up for different reasons. Some people show up because they truly want to learn the art form of improv. They want to know the structure of it. Mm -hmm. And other people show up because they want to kind of keep, keep their creative energy alive. Because a lot of times when we're kids, we're, we're playful all the right. time. We get to a certain point, and I think women more so than men, Men stay creative, I think, a little longer because they go do sports and they're physical. And women kind of stop in, in high school time. And I think what happens is uh, they get a little bit more sedentary. So I think women especially take improv because they want to become more physical and they want to use their brains. And they their brains? Yes. Wow. Well, that's a, uh, that's a difference between men and women. Well, we just don't. I know, we don't use <laughs> our brains. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you look at us. It's never too late to have a happy childhood. Well, yeah. And That's you guys, true. well, all of a sudden you guys become mothers, and oh. all of a sudden you become our mothers, well. and it's distracting to our lives. But people in general, Steve, forget how to play. That's right. They, they don't use that creative muscle. Yeah. And uh, uh, there are elderly people that like to do improv because it's really fun. Some of the games are really mental agility games, sure. if you think about it. So that's So as we thing. become more demented as we get older, it just <laughs> becomes a natural thing? Is that <laughs> I think that there was a study recently about how <laughs> improv really helps in uh, staving off dementia, ah. Alzheimer's. So Jay, you've auditioned. You, you've worked with and Maria. And he staved off. <laughs> he staved off. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I don't play one on TV, and I'm not even going to touch that one. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. We all have our stuff. Yeah, we do. Humor is, uh, you know, good medicine. That's it definitely is. is, yeah. I mean, I, I don't uh, – the thing about <laughs> – some people are just naturally funny, you know, and some people are – they need to kind of be pushed to So you said humor. physically pushed. What, what, you can't just – push people these days no you, you know, go to jail actually, for that i i'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well maybe not you <laughs> well you know there are a lot of games that are <laughs> i always tell my students that nobody wants to see a talking head on stage no one wants to see two people doing a scene where they're both just standing there talking so when i say you know push them physically Get them to do something, right. some space work, some So should we work. stand up? Well, Move we, around. we could, but I, I don't know if we can. <laughs> okay. But <laughs> to, me, to me, the two keys to improv, to a, a really good improv scene, and something that, what was his name that was here before Kevin? Kevin, Kevin he said Kevin. connection, how yeah. people like connection in his restaurant. Same thing with improv. Right. If you can emotionally connect with your partner and physically engage with your environment, you're creating a story for the audience mm -hmm. to be engaged in. So that's when I say you're pushing physically, not just being a talking head on stage. That's fantastic. Yeah. Now, did you teach in the high school ranks, the college ranks? I have uh, been teaching since 1997. God, you guys go way back to the I, 90s. I've been teaching elementary school kids. Uh, I've taught all ages. I teach adults, and I, I still teach in the elementary schools. Right. 
and I, I've done that for years. And I started out, believe it or not, not really doing improv per se, but there was improv element to it. I did something called playback theater, which is... Was that here? I did it locally, and it was in Carmel, okay. Carmel Valley. And I'm sorry. At Cherry <laughs> Carl Theater, <laughs> when that theater was still there. But playback theater is really interesting. I, I think that was a stepping stone for me to do improv because it's basically having someone, and most times someone elderly, come on stage and tell a story. And the story could be funny, it could be poignant, it could be very sad. And players would now reenact that story. Right. And it became uh, very therapeutic for the person telling the story because they would look at you as a player and say, you know, you look like my brother. I'm going to have you play my brother. Oh, you look like my dad. I'm going to have you play my dad. So we would get on stage and reenact it. And if the story was really painful or sad, like maybe their dog died, we would enact it as truthfully as possible. But then we could turn to that person and say, how would you like to see it the way you really would dream about it? How would you really have wanted it to end? And then we would play back, hence the name, oh. play back that. And we would have people crying oh. on stage because we could make a lost love come back. We could make a dog come back to life. A mother, you could say your last words to your mother. So it wasn't just bed. about comedy. No. It was about how you wanted yes. it to end. How yes. do you want your story to end? And, nice. I, and I want to stress that improv is also not always about comedy because we have very poignant scenes, very dramatic scenes, and people think you have to be funny all the time. You just be yourself. You engage in the scene, and you're truthful and honest and focus on the actual acting, and you'd be surprised. We're all funny. Funny will come out no matter what. Right. You don't have to try to be funny. In fact never try to be funny because the audience can smell desperation and it will turn <laughs> them off they will hate you if you try to be funny so never do that so is it also about timing uh timing is i mean some people have that naturally too right. some people have natural timing on stage uh, timing is an element of improv i don't teach it a lot because either you do it or you don't but i mean there are there are uh, interesting things you can do with timing, especially uh, pauses. There are right. dramatic pauses. Let the audience absorb it. Absolutely. That do, you have yeah. a, do you have a list of conflicts that you bring up on stage for people to, to play out? Oh, that's so interesting that you say conflict because it's one of the things I, I try to teach and try to ingrain in players because a lot of players have come from an old style of learning improv that they think a problem or a conflict is really important to introduce early in the scene. And audiences really don't gravitate toward that. They want scenes to start out kind of positive and then go somewhere, lead to a conflict. And, and problems in improv are good as long as you can yes and the problem. Here's the problem with that is I can, I can talk. And yes. And Let's talk about yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's talk about yes and, okay? Uh, when the pandemic hit. Jay, we're going to we're going to be billed for a psychiatric <laughs> appointment on this, you know that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> CSU. All right. When the pandemic hit, I could no longer teach in person. So I went to teaching what's called Zoom prop. Right. So I had a group of players and on the computer and I I had to really reevaluate. I totally hit a reset button with improv. And I was kind of inspired by the movie Moneyball, the mm -hmm. Brad Pitt movie. Great movie. A great movie. And he turned baseball on its ear by challenging the way they valued uh, players in baseball. Mm -hmm. He looked at the statistics of base hitters. All versus, analytics, right? Yes, right. versus home run hitters. Okay. And I but no, no, Brad Pitt played a character, though. Yes, he played a character. He wasn't really Brad Pitt. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> he was a character. I understand. Okay. <laughs> okay, but it inspired me. And and during <laughs> that... <laughs> you, you're, you're, your whole thing about Brad Pitt? Well... Get over it. I love Brad your Pitt. Your husband's going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so anyway... Jay's got his thing about Brad yeah. Pitt, too, but... 
That's another uh, story. <laughs> so I decided during that pandemic, that two year, I hit a reset button and I said, I'm going to challenge the status quo of improv. And I said, what is this yes and? And if you really think about yes and, it's more informational. Right. If, I, if you say something, I go yes and. You say something, I go yes and. It's very boring, okay? However, <laughs> however, I thought, you know, uh, students and coaches and directors, they ingrain it in their students. It's almost like we're being brainwashed to say yes and, and it's been completely misinterpreted. And what you're, you're trying to do is yes and the reality of the scene, but you're not yes anding every little thing that your partner says. That you don't want to take it literally. So you can say no? You can say no. So you can go in another and direction, rein it back that's in. That's the thing. No, no uh, improv coaches want you ever to say no on stage. Now, let me give you an example. If I'm pointing a gun at you, and I'm saying, give me your money, you're not going to go, yes, and I'll be broke. No, you're not going to do that. You're going to say, no, don't kill me. Take my ring. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I can't get my ring. Actually, I've been you know, in that situation, right? yeah. and... All I said was, you're really upsetting me. <laughs> I have other things to do. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, Not a smart move on my part. <laughs> all I, all I, I lived. Say, yeah, I lived. Yeah. yeah. It, got, it, got, it got weird. Yeah, it got weird. Yeah. It got weird. <laughs> all I'm saying is it's okay to say no as long as you're moving the scene forward right. and you're adding new information to it and your scene is truthful and honest and you're 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 focused on the scene and it's real. You're never gonna say yes to being shot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that makes so, sense. That yes. Makes sense. yes. Yes. <laughs> Very are we are we going to have an intervention here? Is anyway, that what this is? If I is? could turn the mindset of every director and coach, improv coach, and and because to tell your students to say yes and, and they do it in scenes, you're, you're on stage and they go yes and and it was like huh. no. Big question. Yes. Are you, doing, are you still doing the Zoom prom? No, I did it for two years and I went back to in person teaching and I teach at the PG Art Center every Tuesday and Thursday but did night. Did you get more people from outside of this area with the Zoom prom or? Oh yeah, I got people from area. all over. Yeah, cool. so yeah. Why you continue with the people from all over? <laughs> well, <laughs> funny. Well, this is what so happened. Cool. I I taught for two years, and and some of my students got very good at improv, and they have kept it on. They oh. still meet for Zumba. I don't run it anymore. They're but doing I it on their own. Pass the torch. Oh, how cool! They continue to do so it. you're doing it for the love, not the Benjamins. Yes, and that's another thing. Beautiful. I am really, to me, uh, it's an art form, and I don't, <laughs> I don't make much <laughs> money out of off it, but I love it so much that, to me, if you do something because you love it, and, and I don't feel like I'm working every day. I feel like I'm going to something that I truly love doing, and it's not a job. For so, me. comedyvarietyshowcase.com, yes. and yes. click the button and send money. No, just have it appear in my no, bank account. Just come to the show. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And let's talk about that for a minute. There, yes. um, there is going to be a show at the Stanton Theater. Yes. The beautiful Stanton Theater mm -hmm. here in Monterey. Yeah. At Custom House Plaza. Yes. Seats 100. Yes. July you, 22nd. You were at there 7 PM. for an open mic that we helped sponsor. Yes. And you fell in love with the place. Yeah, you I, just keep saying yes, and you well, said don't keep saying well, yes. I didn't say yes and. No. <laughs> okay, but Steve, I have to tell you, I've I've performed at that theater several times. Nice. It used to be the Dolly Theater, yes. and when I was in another improv troupe, and we performed there, so I'm very familiar with that stage. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah. It's so be good. when you do, and, and again, I'm gonna, we're gonna pick on Jay because because okay, he's here. <laughs> um, so Jay recently auditioned. Yes. And we're. <laughs> And he's still waiting for the email to show up. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, it'll go into a spam folder. You'll never <laughs> see it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, with with the show that you're going to put your showcase, yes. what are you looking for? Oh, I look for anyone that does anything comedic. I, uh, magic, you're in, Jay. <laughs> magic, uh, skits. I write a lot of the skits that go in the show. Um, skits, what else do we do? Monologues, anything. Oh, we had a dog act. <laughs> the nice. dog act was really Wait, wait, funny. I thought all girls were pretty in this oh, town. Wow, you Ooh, went there. Wow. had to. Hey, it's improv, right? <laughs> 
Um, yes, and anything, anything. Look at that guy out there with his girlfriend. <laughs> wow. With the orange vest on. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Emotional support. <laughs> That's a <boot>. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey. Um, yeah, any, anything comedic. I'm always looking for anything new. I, I, I really would like to have a musical comedic act. That's one thing I was missing. We have Richard Stockton. Show. I've tried to get him in the past. Well, we get pick on him because he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Richard's a great guy. Yeah. We'll get him for you. So, um, we got a little whatever. dirt on him. And, of course, we have stand-ups yeah. and, you know, we just, whatever whatever pops up. I'm doing auditions right now, so for the next month or so, I'll be doing Could you auditions. Zoom an audition and they could, uh, Laura can pull the screen down and... Uh, <laughs> well, uh, usually the auditions that are in in person but i have had people send me little clips right. video clips and right. i i've viewed them that way too so when you see the clips it's polished or is it raw material uh i've gotten so many different quality of clips some uh can't even look at and she had trouble looking at it oh, yes. <laughs> Close your eyes, but you can still hear it. <laughs> Use all your senses. I mean, it's got to be um, uh, dangerous, and, and it's hard to get up behind a mic. It's very difficult. Yeah. Um, it takes a lot of courage. Yeah, you know what's funny is... <laughs> I, <laughs> I do? I, I'm going to... Uh, this is, I used to... Uh, my daughter was on a softball team, and I used to be their Wait, wait, pitcher. That's, that's not funny. Well, we'll get there. <laughs> And I was a pitcher for their team, you know. Weren't you a little old? Yeah, they yeah. had the parents do it. Oh, right? okay. So I'm doing it, and I would just be so extraordinarily nervous pitching for this team. I would be on the mound, and all these parents are watching, and they want you to pitch perfect to their kid. And I'd be on the mound going, oh, my God, I have to throw these strike zones. And I'd be so nervous, and I'd be saying to myself, I can't wait to be done with this so I can get on stage and be, relax. <laughs> because that's where I feel the most comfortable. Right. On stage, I have none of that. So do you have a stage in your house? I do not. So when you talk to your husband about going to the grocery <laughs> store, do you pull out the mic, test, 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 one, two, three? No. Honey, here's your list, <laughs> and here's what we're, how we're going to do this. No, it's not no. like that. So did, you, did, you, did, you, did you pitch until you hit a kid? No, the kids usually would hit me because I can't, I can't aim. I've been hit so many times, but really, it was just terrifying to to do that, and it's just yeah. So you are you are a mom. Uh, Jay, yeah. uh, Jay's a dad. Um, yeah. I've been rumored to be a dad. Um, <laughs> you don't know how many you have. Uh, well, I know okay. I have at least okay. two. Okay. Um, two uh, yeah, two. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if you read the June issue, uh, yeah. the chucklehead, I'm not going to give it away, but oh. I did write about my two kids. Oh, good. I, I did, and yeah. uh, it's very funny. Uh, there are people who've heard the joke in different ways, but for those who haven't, you're just going to have to wait and read it. Oh. Um, it'll be in our e-blast, obviously, in the paper and other platforms, and you'll go, ha-ha, glad I'm not this guy. Uh, but, yes, yeah, somebody actually agreed to do that with me. Um, but you have kids. Yes. So... Happy belated Mother's Day to you. Oh, yes, thank happy you. belated thank Mother's you. Day. Thank and you, you too, Jay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so do you, uh, what, what do your kids do? Are they in oh, entertainment? My, my older daughter is a psychology major. So she's, uh, she's taking care of other kids and helping them That's with good. their problems because nowadays, you know, there's all. A lot of issues with anxiety in kids. There's always been. Yeah, but it, it, it's it, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And my slow uh, pitch. <laughs> my younger daughter attends Cal Poly as an English major, and she uh, drives here every weekend and coaches the boys' um, volleyball team. She coaches the boys. Boys. How do they take it? Well, that was interesting because <laughs> they didn't know her, and she was she's very good. As a coach. And, oh, as. A player and a As coach. a player, okay. And so they kind of gave her the side eye when she showed up. And then when they saw her play, they, yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so now, yeah. And she, yes and she gained the yes and. <laughs> she gained a lot of respect uh, from them. And they're a great bunch of kids. And it, I'm very proud of her to have a woman coaching boys. I think it's, it's fabulous. Yeah. You and know, and I don't know. 
on the yeah. side. Jay's self-employed as an insurance guy, and mm-hmm. um, I'm self-employed, but I venture into other things too in my mm-hmm. office, and I work with all women. Yeah. I work better with women yes. than men for some weird reason. Yeah. Uh, I know my place. Maybe that's yeah. why. <laughs> if I knew that when I was married, I probably still wouldn't be married, but yeah. I would know my place. Right. Um, so, yeah, I think it's wonderful mm-hmm. that women are crossing over and um, and, and there, it's just people. We don't look at gender. It's yeah. people. It's a woman who has the skill mm-hmm. to do the job. Yeah. And these high school kids yeah, high school. are looking at her like, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And then they see the level of competency and all of a sudden there is just this wonderful respect and they get it yeah. they listen yeah and that's, I've, that's I've, great i've come up against a few walls being the woman director of comedy variety showcase mm-hmm. and then the the uh, director of the improv troupe and mm-hmm. so you know i get a little bit of that side eye from men but when they see what we do then they realize oh okay yeah you pass. <laughs> yeah. So if we were to sit here today, and I, mm-hmm. I don't want to say if, because that's we are sitting here today. It's not an illusion. And we look out at the wharf. It's Sunday. Um, it is a beautiful summer day, and we're all dressed like it's like <laughs> winter. winter and other, yeah. yeah. So if you really want to come to Monterey, this is what you get. Um, and we watch people out there. Yeah. And uh, we talked about this on the phone. Yeah. About how I come to Abilinetti's on a Sunday mm-hmm. and we make fun of people out and think, what are they thinking? What are they doing? And you said you have done the same yes, thing. Yes, I've done that. Yes. Uh-huh. Definitely. So let's play. Okay. Let's play. All right. Jay? Yeah. We're going to play. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> what are they thinking? Well, who are we looking at? Uh, let's look at these two girls holding hands. Why'd right you there. drag me here? <laughs> No, we're not going to do drag here. No. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> How about the guy with the cooler? Oh, the cooler. Oh. Dead body I, parts. I, and I, 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 I told my dad not to show up. Okay. He's just wandering around out there with that cooler. Aww. Poor thing. Where can I have my lunch? Yeah. Oh He's waiting for someone to catch one too many fish. This guy's wearing a mask with his son. He doesn't want to speak to him. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he doesn't even want to be around him. Aww. Good thing mom's not here. Oh, that's right. They're divorced because of that. Yeah. Look at this perfect family all holding hands. Oh, wow. Oh. It's a chain gang. That's so cute. <laughs> that's darling. I don't oh, want to be oh. that. He's the caboose. You forgot one. Yeah. <laughs> but they have many more. It doesn't matter. Now, what's this guy doing with two women? What, what's his story? I think you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Ooh, I think they heard us. <laughs> they I'm afraid have. of that one. I'm not afraid Uh-oh. of him. <laughs> I think he hears you. Okay, well, that, that's good enough. <laughs> oh, we're going to get in trouble. I, this no, is Kevin's not here. We could do this. <laughs> <laughs> What about this gal across the way? I mean, does she yeah. do this for a living? Does she actually do that? Which one are you looking at? That gal over there. Is that her? Oh, the one that works. What does she there? do when she gets home? She goes, "What do I aspire to be?" Is this, oh. you know? Yeah. Oh. Oh, phone's in the pocket. Oh, busted. Now, is that woman that came out? Does she work here, or is she a patron? No, she she's working there. They're both working she's there. She's one of the women that try to coach people. Coax people into coming She's short. Into the restaurant. Does that make a difference? Oh, are you talking about? She's a about boss. This? Oh, I yeah, know. the short woman. Oh. She's definitely the boss. She's like, you need to talk to the people and get them in here. Yeah, slow. there's oh, three yeah. people out there. Get at least one in here. Well, not a fun way to have your job. <laughs> hey, she signed up for it. Yeah, that's true. It just shows that people will do anything for a living. Yeah. I mean, look what we do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are no barriers oh, out there, are there? Oh, I am living. I am living. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, we have a, we have a pulse. You know? <laughs> okay. Well, this is fabulous. And so you are going to do a show yeah. at the Stanton, and that is going to be July 22nd. 20... What? 22nd. 22. Okay. 22 at 7 p.m. Look at this guy. What was he doing out there? Whoa. Like Aquaman. Is Aquaman? Is that is that a good look? To, is that a good pickup look? <laughs> well, I mean, from a woman's perspective, what do you think? I mean, would your daughters do that? Would you do that? God no. No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> He's gone. 
Okay. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you have a show. Yes. And it's going to be about improv. It's and gonna you're going to write some of the skits. It's going to be comedy variety showcase. Right. And it's going to have skits and monologues and stand up. And, and it's going to have and improv. And music. Improv, hopefully music. Yes. We were still working on that. And uh, whatever it turns out to be, it's going to be fabulous. How many As, did you have last year? Uh, we had at least 10. Wow. It was such, um, we did two shows. They were both sold out. We had people waiting in line trying to get in. Some people paid to get a ticket just to stand outside of the theater. Oh, that's so cute. They just wanted to hear it, you know, because yeah. you can hear stand up at least. Yeah. You can hear some of the things, but I felt bad. It? You know, I, I, I've had people videotape it on Frank. There, but. It mm. never seems to come across as well. Uh, nothing better than live theater. Right. And I've, I've seen videotaped uh, shows. I don't know. There's something just lacking in them. It's just, yeah. I don't know what it is. But I... The spontaneity. Maybe. Without, maybe. Uh, there's something not there. And I haven't really been able to, you know, figure it out how to get it across through video. I have a doctor. A psychiatrist can work and tell you <laughs> where that is and what that may be. Oh, okay. Obviously, there's a med for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but good for you. Thank and you. And you're going to continue doing this once a year, twice a year? Yeah, usually shows are once a year. We could do it twice a year. We could. We, we can. We might. We might. We might. Yeah. You know, it's such a, it's a, it's a long process trying to get you know, and writing new material, too. So, so what that. they audition with isn't what they end up on stage with. Uh, that's not true. I mean, people audition when they do their stand-up. That's their material. Right. Uh, the skits are usually mine, and uh, monologues sometimes are split. I do. I write those, too. I have, um, what's her name, uh, Sienna, who did a great monologue, and I didn't write that one. She came up with her. And you're sound. keeping it? Oh, yeah. She's, oh, yeah. She's keeping it. She's hers. good. Yeah. Now, is she part yeah. of your classes? No, she's Just a showed performer, up? part of CVS. See, Comedy Variety Showcase are different performers. The improv part of it is people I pull from classes, and I formed a group so new that we don't even have a name yet oh, let's and come up with a name i've been trying i've been trying i've been getting input from the players from people i know so what are some of the choices oh gosh i have a list of come about on, 50. Give us i three. don't have them with just, me i well, can't even tell just you just off the top of your head oh, just gosh, give us somebody three. said <sighs> improvocative <laughs> oh i like that <laughs> that was one of them oh gosh uh oh gosh doesn't work <laughs> No. I can't remember any of them. That doesn't work okay. either. <laughs> Let's see. The Absurdists. Uh -huh. I remember that one. Mm. You guys come up with some. Come up with an improv, improv group Nation. name. I like it. Improv Nation? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, I had one. What was it? It was... Um, Oh, I came up with the comicals, and somebody said, no, if you use that, someone's going to call you the commies. Ah, uh, yeah, we can't, we can't do that. I thought that was cute, though, the comicals. But when you look at Monterey County, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're, you're in PG, and um, when, I, when I go through the tunnel yeah. into New Monterey, yeah. I expect to see, like, animated balloon characters like in the Macy's Day Parade. <laughs> and then when I get to PG, where you yes, are, yes. I find out where they live. <laughs> you know, I just find that just a weird thing. Once I'm through the tunnel, my body feels different. It, wow. It just really does. And uh, the only normal place I find in PG is Grove Market. I just uh, go in there and yeah. play, oh, my God, I feel normal again. Just, uh, because it's just uh, just a strange environment in PG. Well, have you been to the PG Arts Center? I have been there, and Kim does a great job. <laughs> uh, I, I know the uh, – it's just – PG is just weird to me. Yeah. And um, – but – you know, on this side of the tunnel, it is different. Yeah. And we talk about Monterey County, we talk about the segmentation. You want to draw from all over. Oh, yeah. Are you drawing from Salinas? Are you drawing from Marine? Are they coming? Uh, I do have players that come from Salinas. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't ask players where they live, but I just know some Are of they afraid from. that you might, like, go to their <laughs> house? It's 5 no. o'clock. It's dinner time. You're hungry. I do a drop-in class. So they ah, come in. Yeah, a drop-in for in, dinner. They sign their name. They 
you give me their email, but I, I don't ask them where their house is. So, okay, so you no. Have a <laughs> you do it two, yeah. two days a week, right? Two days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 7.30. It's 10 bucks, and you have a great time. And that's the only location that you're currently doing it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you do another location? I've been asked to do another location, but keep in mind I still have a day job where I teach kids right. <laughs> in elementary school. So I'm at Robert Down. I, I also teach for the city of Monterey, and so my, you know, my plate's full. And now I've got auditions going on, and you know, the show. There's a lot of things. There's happening. a lot going on, but yeah, I'm always open to teaching. That's fantastic. Uh, on that note, yes. so second is a comedy again. Yes. And. Uh, Comedy well in the past, and then so right now, uh, looking at this Central Coast Comedy Clinic group. So I already put the page together on that. Okay. But um, we want to meet like twice a month, once in Monterey and once in Smith. Oh, nice! Just to get a group of people together to you know bring their jokes and kind of polish them within a group of people that are witty, you know? It's like a round table? Yeah. I'm gonna name it right now. It's like a I'm gonna give it a name now. Ready? Give it a name. What is it? The Wittaholics. <laughs> the Wittaholics. The Wittaholics. Okay. These are so witty. <laughs> yes. Wit is important. Okay. But, um, but no, uh, so that way, and then eventually we just create a culture of, of comedy. Mm -hmm. people, comedy yeah. Here in the area. You know, there are already. I went to two comedy shows last night in Salinas. Oh, nice. There were three comedy shows in Salinas last night. Oh. I was amazed. I can go to all of them, but it was good. Yeah. Oh. Hey, no, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing, right? And, and that's why Frank, I'm he's amazing. One night. <laughs> you know, Frank and Vision in the house. Thank you very much, Frank, for uh, all your support. Thank you, Frank. Yeah. Thank you, Frank. But you know, <laughs> when you think about it, though, I I feel that Salinas is the market. Wow. You have 150,000 people there. Yeah. And you have people coming out of the woodwork to want to play. To you got a younger audience. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I believe most of the people there have a pulse. You live there, right? Yeah. I have a most of you have a pulse. Yeah. <laughs> that counts. Yeah. <laughs> <I'll check>. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it matters. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we're not going to go back and pick on PG anymore. Yeah. We're not yeah. going. We we we're done picking We've on PG. We've already done that. Shall we go we're into Carmel that. in the Valley? <laughs> we we can do that too. Um, but uh, I believe that. And that's why I asked. The market, I think, is Salinas mm -hmm. for just the sheer number of people. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll keep in contact. Keep in contact. Yes. With me. So what are you going to do differently than what she does? I don't know. <laughs> 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 There's a master plan. She works on the improv, right? Well, yeah. I, I do everything. Yeah, yeah, she, do everything. Yeah. I do stand up, I do skits, yeah. I do right. monologues, I do blah 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 blah. blah. Right. I, yeah. So we'll, yeah. Have to, we'll have to connect some more. Yeah. Okay? Definitely. Well, maybe we need to keep her out of Salinas, Jay. <laughs> you gotta get her to come out of the studio. Yeah. Oh, I like that too. Does she have the right paperwork? Um, yeah. I'll, I'll go in we the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere the around trunk. Toro Park, they might uh, stop us. And I'll put, I'll stick my hand yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, you need papers. Very good. Well, hey, thanks for coming on. You're our show. welcome. All right. And Thank good you. Luck with everything Thank you, Jay. You Thank classes. you, Steve. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Good. good. Thanks. You're welcome. That was fun. Thank you.